Hey everybody, it's Bios. We're here with Hearthstone and we're playing 4th Time Legend Secret Odd Mage. Um, the original deck uh, was put together by Enlightos, um, but we're actually playing it with um, the edits that Sand um, put in the comments section. So the edits there are, he took out an Arcane Missile, he took out Subject 9, the Legendary, he took out one Fungal Mancer, one splitting image and added a counter spell or mirror entity and two clockwork automatons um, and i found this to be more effective than the original deck so we're going to play through it a little bit here and see what we can do um, now this deck has a couple of different ways it can win um, if you can build up a secret keeper really quickly that can be super effective um, if you can combo the automatons with uh, the daring fire eater you can do 16 plus damage using your um, your basic uh, skill here, your hero power, um, and um, I think otherwise you just want to try to go face as much as possible. Ooh, and we get to play against a quest mage, um, and we're gonna kind of see how this works. So we're gonna start right off with a secret keeper, um, and if we can get this kind of rallying quick with potentially the counter spell or mirror entity, um, we could have some real success here. So let's see how this goes. Tough choice here between, I guess we go for the kill. I would have liked to coin into um, counter spell, but I think it's better to hero power. Yeah, and I think it ends up being better. So now we can counter spell once, kill it. And then he has to use his hero power. And then we'll end up counter spelling a banana more than likely. Oh, even better. All right, so I think we drop. Uh, I think we'll start with him and save um, Kirin Tor Mage. Because I, I have a feeling that whatever minion he drops is going to be something that's not super powerful. So I think I want to wait a little bit to drop the mirror image. And it seems like that was a good choice. Got a lot of bananas, though. We could also drop the Cinder Storm here, potentially, to... We could try comboing the Black Cat with the Cinder Storm. Let's see, we would do 6 damage, draw a card... Yeah, let's try it. We draw another Cinder Storm. Ugh, all face, right? Well, not exactly what I was hoping for. But I think we go face there, because now he's probably going to kill our 3-4, um, or trade off for it, which I think is fine. We could drop another Cinder Storm next turn. We could Kirin Tor to a mirror entity. He's going to banana the, that up. I think the good thing is, is we didn't waste our mirror uh, mirror entity on um, any of the really low power minions here. We want to try to save that for something that's going to be really effective. We had one. If we had saved our coin, we could have um, automatoned into that. But I think we do this. I think we start here and see what this does. Perfect. And now we Kirin Tor into the mirror. And now he's, I wonder if he's got either a flame strike or a blizzard, something like that, some sort of wave clear that he can maybe use. That would be what I would want. Yeah. Doomsayer. Nope. Alright, so we do this, we drop uh, 
our mole, and then a counter spell. Although I guess it would have made sense too, maybe if I thought about that more, maybe I should have saved the counter spell for if he gets his quest. Yeah, not a great mirror entity either. I think we trade here. And drop this guy down. And this is really the strength of the automaton, right? Is the if you can get both of them down, you're doing eight damage. If you can combo them with the daring fire eater, you can do six or more damage. Um, it ends up being a really powerful tool with the combination of Baku. Baku's ability at the beginning to give you plus one, you know, this is doubling it. I don't know that that was a super smart move, but I guess he had to do that now. So now we can do, let's see, eight, nine, plus the six, plus the two, or we could try to kill this. We could do two to kill that. So let's hit with this and this and this. That's nine. Well, we could go for le I guess we go for lethal and just try this and see what it hits. Because if it hits face, it's game over. It's 50-50. Yep, and we win. So a little bit of a risky move there. You could, if you want to play more conservative, you could have fireballed um, his fate or his uh, minion, and then you would have been guaranteed him being down to one health, but I figured it's worth the risk there. So let's do maybe one or two more matches of this and again, see how it, it plays against some different decks. Um, but overall, I think this deck has been pretty effective. Um, I played it a couple of times before um, recording this just to get a feel for it. Um, and uh, I tried out um, more of the original deck, but I like some of the additions to this deck. The automatons especially really make this deck powerful. And another mage, very surprising. I feel like mage has not been super popular in the last um, last couple of weeks, but seen a lot of it uh, for whatever reason today. Curious what he's playing. Maybe a mirror match, maybe the same deck. This is uh, definitely a little bit popular on Hearth Pwn right now. Um, and I'll put a link in the comments section or down in the description below so that uh, if you're interested in seeing this deck and, and reading, I, I would recommend for this deck specifically reading the comments. There's not a lot of description of the deck by the. Yeah, well, that's an easy win, I guess. Um, not a lot of discussion of the deck and from the creator, but if you um, uh, if you take a read of the comment section, I really like um, some of what Sand had to say in terms of some of the adjustments, where he put up some really good data about win rates there. The original creator put up pretty good um, data too about his win rates, so you can kind of see where this deck, this deck has a lot of strength. There's a few decks it doesn't play very well against. Um, I think Paladin, it's pretty bad against. Um, you're not going to see too many wins there, but it does play pretty well in general against. Um, you know, this is. I guess I want to keep that for now and see what we can do. Um, it does play in general pretty well against Hunter. Well, I won't uh, miss playing against Baku and Gendex. I, I certainly enjoy having the upgraded uh, rank 2 hero powers. You can essentially match the, the Hunter at this point.
Kieran Tor obviously is a huge um, part of this deck. If you can drop him on turn three, get something like a Mirror Energy down. Um, I prefer to use Mirror Energy later in the game when they're going to maybe drop something more powerful. But here on this turn, right, you're dropping a 4-3. You're getting a free secret. Um, you have to drop it. If you had something like a, like a Secret Keeper out already, that would be great too. Um, but wasn't that lucky in terms of my first... Um, my initial draw. This is interesting. I mean, I guess it's a good play on his part because he probably is anticipating a mirror energy and he'll probably end up being able to kill. Yeah, he'll be able to kill my guy there. Now I can. Hmm. Okay, so I can trade this. I don't want to waste these guys, so we'll just keep those in hand and. Let a little bit of mana go to waste. The other option, I guess, would be... A rush trade. Alright, so let's do... It's tempting to drop him and then... But I think I want to do this instead. Because I can still get my draw going, but it's less risky. It's nice to have my Cinder Storm sort of sitting here too, because you know the, this um, the Spirit of the Lynx here is is a pain in the neck um, against these hunter decks with just a lot of low cost minions, right? Because they can buff up everything really quickly. So I'd hopefully see if I can get it. Yeah, he's going to drop two of them there and kill this guy. But I can drop my Daring Fighter next turn and take it out. Or maybe I should Cinder Storm and then... Yeah, I still have enough mana, so I think I do this first. Perfect, and then I don't even have to waste one of them yet. So maybe I drop this guy down. I probably should have hero powered instead. That's my bad. I was thinking, I, well, I originally gonna, was going to potentially drop him and then, so I was thinking three mana there, but I, this guy's three mana, so I probably wasted him there. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, this is going to be painful. It's going to drop a secret. Ugh. All right. So I think here we could drop both of these. I guess that's what we do. Four. It's the six. We take out this guy before he does too much. And now we just start getting some uh, minions out here. And I'm going to save um, this guy just in case he drops something that can wipe the whole team. I, I also you know, know he's playing um, the Hound, so you want to avoid having him drop you know, a half dozen of those. Um, And Death Starker too, so you can play around a lot. You you generally don't want to play all of your kind of low cost minions at once because of there's just a lot of wave clear that these uh, these decks have. Okay, so here we have to take out this guy. I think we Cinder Storm here and put out some damage. Drop this guy down. Now we're in a little bit of an issue here. So this is where the deck's a little bit weak, right? If you lose your ability to draw, um, you're going to have a tough time here staying against like a late game Death Stalker. And part of that's my fault in dropping um, Stargazer to Luna too soon. Um, but again, you're never going to have kind of the perfect combination of what you need.
Now here, you know, with the two of these, you can if you get them both down and get a get a shot off, you can do four eight damage, um, which is pretty good. But for now, I guess we just trade, um, or I could drop one and. I don't know, I'm just not really sure where the path to victory is right now, right? So I guess I need um, the Dragon Hawk to come down, a Leroy to do some damage, but yeah, just looking at what I have left, I don't have a lot that I can combo there necessarily. You know, the problem with the two um, automatons is that you can't get them both down and hero power in the same turn. He's got a minion down here with uh, with poison s, which is a pain in the neck, um, and, I, and he's got divine shield on top of it. So the fungal lance is good, but I need to have somebody down in order to use them. The secret keeper is more or less useless at this point in the game. So I guess I put him down just to try to absorb some. Um, some damage here, right? And just or maybe I should have dropped the secret keeper too. Um, but you know, at this point, it's more or less throw these guys down so they can soak something. But if I can get him to maybe use, you know, either both of these or one of these in his weapon or you know some sort of combination of stuff. But he's got enough spells, it looks like. And we really didn't get anywhere with that. So. Yeah, I think this is this game is more or less a lost cause, uh, and this is really the weakness of the deck is that um, if you don't get good draw going, if you don't get a lot of your um, secrets out, um, you find yourself in this position of he's dropping down three minions a turn more or less, and all I can do basically is drop something like an automaton and try to do some damage, but it's not anywhere near enough. And I guess I gotta, tr I mean, yeah, it's not gonna matter because he's got enough damage to take me out, so we'll concede this one. We'll do one more match. Uh, um, but just a little bit of a sense of what the weakness of the deck is. Um, you see it there. If you get into that sort of late game, if you can't get this going quick, um, you're probably not gonna win. So it's it's by no means a perfect deck. It's not gonna beat everything. Um, and that's really its weaknesses. As soon as you get to a late game against something like a, a Death Rex, or Waxer, you're not going to be able to beat it. So you got to plan for that. you got to plan to go face as quickly as possible. Hope that you get some good draws there. Um, and it is possible. Um, I think, it, you know, depending on what I had drawn there at the end, I think if I had drawn the Dragon Hawk or something, it could have been more powerful, but then he's got a poisonous Divine Shield thing down. Um, so now we get a second chance against a Hunter, so let's see how this one goes. Not much of a choice there. I was hoping to maybe get a secret from um, uh, switch out the Dragon Hawk, um, but no such luck. So our our Kieran Tour mages right now are not super effective because we don't have a secret to play with them. Um, classic Dire Mall. Leroy is good, but not right the second. The Automaton is, you know, not a great draw from the rest of my deck here since, you know, I dropped my 7 and got a 5. I was hoping for something a little bit more early game. Alright. Hopefully we can find something to take out this um, Dire Mole before it gets too crazy. Good thing is I can drop my next turn my um, fire eater. <laughs> I drop my fire eater and, and kill it off if I need to. I think I have to at this point. There, there's really no way to gain back health with this deck. Makes me wonder if um, <laughs> this deck would be more effective with like a Zillarak in it. Um, 
I haven't I haven't play tested that, but I'm wondering if maybe instead of a mirror, an extra mirror entity, if you drop a Zillax in there for just some life steal, um, especially against a deck like this. It may be too conservative, but Jenkins into him, but I don't know that I want to waste my Jenkins on that. Mm. I could drop a counter. I could grab a Kieran Tor counter. I guess that's what I gotta do for now. And I think I do this. I'm gonna hit this guy just to get him down so that hopefully, you know, even if he um, does a little bit of damage here, maybe I can get him next turn. playing tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's really not too hard. He's trying to make sure I don't vaporize, I guess. Oh, but there's the counter spell. I, I don't know what, so he played around um, a, um, a vaporize, right? Because he didn't attack um, straight away with his scavenger hyena. So I wonder why he didn't, I mean, maybe it was his plan to, in terms of the counter strike. I don't know, it just seemed like a weird choice to, um, to make that trade. So we'll take him out. Um, I think we do this again. Same thing. And now we just sort of go face and see if we can maybe catch up because now it's eight, 8 to 1 in terms of damage turn over turn. So let's see what he drops next turn. Uh, there we go. We stopped him again. Right, so now he's in some trouble because... We can do quite a bit of damage now. I think we combo these right. Uh, see if we can get this uh, fiery dart next turn. He might have something that can that can do a little bit more damage, but what do you got there? Flanking strike. Okay. Kill command. It's not a bad combo there. So I think we do this to try to draw with our fireflies. Behold the tools of creation. Tough decision here between the fire eater. We do take it out. Yeah, I guess we do that. Just keep going face. Now I'd expect him to drop another secret here. Um, but I don't know exactly what his, his deck composition is. But I wouldn't be surprised to see a secret drop here. That's probably what I would want if I was a if I was a hunter, maybe a um, explosive trap or something. like the Tundra Rhino.
Guess I should have put explosive ruins down, huh? Come on. Take your time. Alright, so... We do this. Drop the secret keeper. We put down this. Let's see how this goes. See if he's got another... If he's got a hounds, that would be great. So if he doesn't kill anything, next turn we could do one, two. He probably's got a Death Stalker. Yeah. Again, I think we're gonna run into the same problem that we did last time, and and. Might be wrong. I mean, I can, I can try dropping the Baku next turn, but it'll probably have something absurd. Uh, yeah, we'll drop the Baku for now. Let's see if we can just face him a little bit. But he's trying to drop something with poisonous. That'll be. I'd be looking for something I could do rush and poisonous for a cheap cost if I was playing as Hunter against this deck. Yep. But kaboom. Sorry. All right. So now we win, I think. Right? We 7 plus 2 is 9 plus the 6 from Leroy. Is 11 plus 6 is 17. Yeah, we have enough. We actually have enough to black count on top of it. Oh, and a cinder storm. Well played. Alright, well, that's one way to end it, I guess. So all in all, um, a pretty powerful deck. You gotta win very quickly if they drop a Rexar. Basically, you got one or two turns before things start getting out of hand, and we lucked out because of the explosive ruins, um, knocked out his rush minion. But um, all in all, a pretty good deck. Uh, we went two and one watching it here. Um, pretty fun. Nice thing is not too expensive to build. Seems to do pretty good at sort of a lower level of play. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. And if you like to see more of this, definitely like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.